Hello everybody, so welcome back to another Bakugan vlog post A couple of boxes here again So yeah, I'm interested in this, this was from Japan The rest are from uh, the usual place Let's take a look at the rest first Okay, the last box Last box Which smaller than I expected Okay, so let's get started uh, Let's start with this then This is a prototype Infinity Helios It's called Infinity Helios, right? Yes, from uh, Mactanium Search yeah, As you can see, it's a prototype Prototype colour The hand came out just in the in the transit I managed to fix it back As you can see so prototype Infinity Helios it looks pretty nice. Next, let's take a look at this. Yeah, so this is one of the prototypes. I think I did, don't have a copy. This is a blue color version of Crustilion. Remember Crustilion? I think it's from Dragon Rising. It's been such a long time. I don't really remember. Crustilion prototype looks vaguely familiar. I think it's a Pyravian prototype. You can see the color is different from the normal colors, normal pirates. It's a very faded kind of plastic. The prototype plastic. Yeah, this is a Pyravian. I've got a number of these, but all in different colors. My first one in red. Yeah, and this this is why I bought it. This was a prototype for G3. See, it's a translucent flare axe and smash hammer. The top is a bit gray, the bottom is white. Does it spin? Yeah, it fits. Let's take this out. Oh, it does spin. It's a bit tight. It's a bit tight. Oh, there's no cuts there, so it won't open. Yes. Yeah, it's the same ones as I got previously. There's a... You can tell it's a prototype because the outer plastic is opaque. Usually the outer plastic is some sort of translucent color. Like yellow or black or brown or something. This is fully opaque. Only the prototypes have the opaque. Is it a typical flywheel? Looks a bit too yellow for to be the standard ones they use. And of course this flag smash hammer. I don't think I've seen a translucent version before. Yes, so this is a prototype mantid. I think this is the prototype of the one in the Bakutin. No, the Bakutin was one of the first ones to appear. Bakutin, this Bakutin. Which uh, which came with mantid. Okay, this. What is this? Oh, this. So I was missing this when I was doing my compilation for my website, the Bakugan Library. I realized that I didn't have Darkers L tier. So this seller was selling in a set for a relatively okay price. There's, there's a couple on eBay which is ridiculous amounts. Yeah, but this is the, the L tier set, Darkers L tier set. Yeah, so I was missing this. Yeah, yeah, it looks very nice, right? They, they have a very interesting color scheme for L tiers. The only one that has this very interesting color scheme and this of course is the wired comes a set interestingly this is much easier to find than this not sure why but yeah all right so first up this this was spotted a couple weeks back it's a very interesting Bakugan, not sure where this is from Seems like some kind of limited edition So it says here for sale only See the date, 30th October 2023 FWS Which is in October, so it's quite a while back Probably one of the last few Bakugans that were, yeah But not sure what design this is This should be representative of some kind of design Looks like made for some special occasion or brand or something If anybody recognizes this, do, do leave a comment yeah, because it is it seems very very unique. I'm guessing this is some kind of a limited edition. Yeah. Anyway, yes, the uh, pretty unique and quite expensive to get. So yep, that's one. So, so this popped up recently. This is from Bakugan Evolutions. This is not from this is not the one that is from Bakugan Legends. Bakugan Legends had yellow accents. Now let me let me just open this first. This is the Diamond Tetris Ultra from Bakugan Evolutions. This should be the diamond for the unreleased Ultra set. Previously there was an Ultra set. Then there was an Elemental which was super difficult to find. I'm still not able to find it. The the latest I saw it went for a couple hundred. There was an auction for it recently for the Elemental 
Nevius, the one with three heads. I missed that auction. Yeah, anyway, this this should be the diamond for that set. Yeah, this should be the diamond for that set. You can see it's a different color scheme from the Legends version. And of course the Armor Alliance version. This is the Evolutions color scheme. So yeah, so this was the Legends version. You can see the plastic is not so clear and the colors are different. It's a big greyish, light greyish with yellow gold streaks. The jaw itself is also a bit darker purple, whereby this is a different color scheme altogether. So this is the Legends version, this is the Evolutions version. There's also Armor Alliance version which I still haven't opened yet, so see the plastic is different as well. I cannot remember what this is. Oh, this! This was the uh, unreleased, I suppose it's Hail, because it looks the closest to Hail. In terms of design, it looks very similar to the pink uh, Bakugan I got previously, right? I'm not sure which powering it gave, so they gave me a random powering. Yeah, so I'm not sure which powering this comes with, so they just gave me one random one. It doesn't really match, right? <laughs> the colors a bit weird. Maybe I'll find another powering for this. This is the unreleased. I, I should dub it Hail because I don't know what's the name. This was not even in the checklist, so probably it's a very early prototype. See, the plate is like looks like a copper copper kind of color. This bottom is sort of prototype because I've never seen this color yet. Yes, very interesting. Unreleased stuff. Oh, and this Galactic 4, Wave 4. I just thought I'd get another one. Uh, very few of these are available actually. I never see a lot of these available. This is the Galactic Trucks. Yep, Galactic Trucks. Yeah, I just thought I'd get another one. Yeah, pretty nice. I like Galactic Trucks. The Galactic stuff is interesting. Oh yeah, yeah, I still have a lot of these, right? Okay, let's take a look at this. Okay, let's take a look at this. This is uh, from Japan. I saw it from an auction. Uh, obviously, I didn't have any intention to buy, but I was seeing. Uh, I mean, it wasn't that expensive. So, yeah, I just decided to, to bid for it. And surprisingly, or rather non-surprisingly, I got it because nobody else was interested in it. It's very light. It's a plastic cup. It's one of those, you know, children's cups. Yeah. <laughs> Before you say this is like a self-made kind of cup, let me show you the brand. So the brand is this uh, by this skater, skater.co.jp. This is pretty a pretty well-known brand in Japan, whereby they uh, made uh, all these merchandise. So I was trying to look for this in their inventory list on the website, but I guess this is just too old. They probably have purged it from their database or something. And then you can see it's a Bakugan. Battle Brawlers, New Vestroya. Right, so this was during New Vestroya, you see Bakugan 2. No, was there a figure? Yeah, there's a figure of uh, New Dragonite here. Very, very interesting. Yeah, I'll put it back later. Right. Oh, it comes with, what is this? This is uh, Namae. Oh, the name. <laughs> it's really a children's cup. It's for you to write your name and paste on it. Bakugan LLP. Wow, what is this? See, it's a recognized logo whatever that is, this is it's like transformer logo yeah you can see it's Dan you can see Dra he's rolling Neo Dragonite out to form the final figure it's not it's it's not a sticker or anything it's printed onto the cup yeah you can see the serial number and all that it matches the the label KE-4 made in Japan so you can be 140 degrees 200 milliliters for the volume. Yeah, it's very interesting. So it's like a children's cup, Bakugan children's cup. So I'll probably keep it. It's just a collectible. Yeah, it's a collectible at this point in time. I don't want to break the plastic. Who knows how many more of these are in circulation? I doubt there are any. Yeah, because this is such a this is such a niche product, a children's cup. Yeah. Anyway, yes. Yeah, and the last but not least in this haul, you can see some DVDs here. So I chanced upon this, and I saw in the corner of it, there was a Bakugan figure there. Yeah, I bought two copies. One of them was in a disc. One of them is the original, uh, original cover. So I'm not going to open this. So if you can see right here in the corner, this is Harumaru. This is the Bakutek main protagonist. It's right there, hidden among among the, the rest of them. You see Doraemon. I don't recognize the rest. So, 
This should be the, this is the same one, so it's loose. So inside it looks like this. It's a, it's a limited edition kind of this. I don't know what exactly it's for. Yeah. So I, I, let me just pop it in. I'll take a look at whatever is inside. And if it's okay, I'll show some of it in the rest of this video. The Baku gun portion, I mean. Yeah, so this has been my vlog post for today. So thanks for watching. If you enjoy this content, please click like button and subscribe.